this. This is the, the, the majority of the marine alternators. The most common alternator, look, is this, the Motorola. And now I am going to explain how to connect this, this, this alternator in the boat. Okay, I am going to do the picture of the wiring of that alternator. Yesterday you connect, you work with the cranking system. You remember guys? This is the big positive, no? Coming from the common. You have another output for the positive boost bar. And from that positive boost bar, we are going to install a fuse to connect the AC panel and also we are going to enter here in the position battery. You remember guys? And this is the ignition position in the ignition switch and this is the signal for the start, the start motor. With the ignition you have a purple cable and the purple cable activates the crank relay. Yes or not? Yes. And from the start position you send a yellow red signal. Ye yellow red signal in this small terminal. And of course, the body of the star motor should be connected to ground. The, the, the block of the engine and the block to the ground. Okay, great. And now we are going to connect the alternator here. And the typical, the typical Motorola alternator have one positive output, DC. Output DC. One uh, output AC, ground is here, and uh, they have another one here for excitation, look at this, one terminal here for excitation, and other terminal here for sense, and other terminal here for a light indicator, I am going to locate my ACR here, we are going to connect uh, the output DC of the alternator is coming into the ACR and the positive of the battery enter here also in the ACR and the other positive of the other battery enter here in this one and if I have another alternator here because I have two engines the positive output DC goes here and what is the color of this cable normally? Orange orange that's clear guys i have two alternators the positive output enter here great later i am going to explain next week this one the output of this ac signal ac signal is the signal for the tachometer I am going to explain the process to connect the tachometer and this one will be the signal for the tachometer. The tachometer converts those in RPMs. That one will be the signal for the tachometer. This one is the ground of the, of the alternator. This one excitation is coming from ignition position. Mm -hmm. For that reason, in this project, in this project we are going to do this. From the ignition position, we are going to create an ignition boost bar. The ignition boost bar is a positive boost bar, ignition boost bar. And from the ignition boost bar, we are going to fit this relay, we are going to fit the alternator, and we are going to fit all the gauge, oil pressure gauge, those gauge receive power from ignition. For that reason, it's a good idea to create the ignition boost bar. Some people say, no, I am going to connect here, and after that this, and after that the oil pressure, and after that, that connection in series is good? No. If one is broken, all of them are broken. Here, I have the ignition boost bar, and I can connect all the elements that I wanted. I don't have any problem, all right? Look, this area, this area in the, in the alternator is the exciter. What happened in the alternator? The engine is running, but uh, suddenly the purple cable, 
the excitation cable is open, is broken, is disconnected. What happened with the output of the alternator? Not produce more power. It's a spinning, but it's not producing power. Why? Because no excitation. For that reason, some alternators, they have a backup of excitation, double excitation. And they have another cable, sense, connected here in the big positive of the, alter, of the star motor. Because the big positive have power all the time, no? If for some reason this cable is broken, they have the other one connected here. Double excitation for safety. Good? Mm. It's clear, guys? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Now you see, yeah, now you see how the, how the ignition switch <laughs> is related with the alternator, is related with the star motor, <coughs> and will be related with the rest of the gauge in the, in the dashboard. This is the beginning. Every day we are going to add more elements in the, in the wiring. At the end of the day, you have the complete wiring diagram that you have in the book. Good, papas?